Hey, what's up YouTube? So today I'm going to show you how to create a really super simple uh, VHS slash VCR effect in Adobe Premiere Pro. I actually used this effect in my uh, recent short film called The Host and I'll show you a clip of that right now. All right, so again, this effect is super simple. So let's not waste any time, let's get right into it. First thing you need to do is you need to add the, the video that you'd like to uh, do the VHS or VCR effect on into Premiere Pro. I added this uh, video of Sunflower that it took actually a couple years ago. And we're just gonna add the VHS effect to it. So the first thing we're gonna need to do is we're gonna need to select the actual video and we're gonna need to go into the uh, effect controls. Now, under blend mode right here, you want to change the blend mode from normal to linear dodge add. And then the next thing you need to do is you're going to go up here to the effects panel and you're going to type in color, color balance. And under where it says image control, you're going to choose the effect that is color balance RGB and you're going to drag that onto your clip. Okay, so now that you have those effects on your clip, you're going to hold your alt key and you're going to drag this clip up once and then you're going to drag it up again a second time. Okay, so now three clips. The, the color balance is all out of whack because you have three of the same copy on there. What we need to do now is we need to actually balance this out. So what the color balance is, is the red, green, and blue right there, the RGB. So all of them are at 100 for all three of the clips. So what we need to do is we need for the bottom clip we need to make sure that the blue is maxed out at 100 right there. And then the middle clip, we need to make sure that the red is to zero and the blue is to zero and the green is maxed out. And then the top clip, we wanna make sure that the red is maxed out. So we're gonna uh, make the values of the blue and the green to zero. And you're just gonna slide that to the left there. Now the uh, video is gonna be color corrected now. It's gonna be balanced out. It's gonna look like the normal clip again, although each of these clips has a specific color designated to it now. All right, so with the top clip that has the red as its color balance, we're gonna go to the where it says position in the effect controls, and I like to move it to the left. I like the value to be about 949, and what that's gonna do is it's gonna move the red layer to the left a little bit. And that's, if you can see right here, once this loads up, it just moved that layer to the left and it added like little like red fringe to the side of pretty much everything in the image. And we're going to do the same thing to the bottom layer, that's the blue layer. So that's the blue one with the maxed out value. And we're going to move this down a little bit. So I like to move this from 540 to about 552. And that's just going to move that blue layer down, creating some like downward yellow effect once it loads up a little bit. So now you have more of a VHS or VS, a VCR look. So the next thing that you wanna do is you wanna add a new adjustment layer down here and you wanna make sure your settings are correct. Those are my settings, so I'm gonna press okay. You could also add an adjustment layer by going to the top left where it says file, new, and then or is it adjustment layer right there. Okay, so now this adjustment layer, I'm gonna drag up to the top right here, make sure it fits the footage. And this adjustment layer, we're gonna add, like we're gonna make sure it adds more of a VHS effect on top of what we've already created. Over here in the effects panel, we're gonna type in um, wave warp. So you're gonna drag the wave warp effect onto the adjustment layer right there. And you're gonna scroll all the way down in the effect controls for that adjustment layer. And in the wave warp section where it says wave type, we're gonna change, we're gonna change it from sine to square. And then where it says wave height, we're gonna keep that at 10 and the wave width, we're actually gonna put that at 999. Uh, the direction, we're gonna put that to zero. And then the wave speed, we're gonna put it at negative 0.1. So that means that the little wave warp effect is gonna come from the top to the bottom and it's gonna move like that. And then the pinning, we're gonna make sure that it pins to all edges so we get rid of all like these little black black effects around the thing so we can actually have our full image there. So pin to all edges. 
and then we're just gonna actually add a little bit of grain and noise to this so up here in the effects panel again we're gonna just type in noise Oops, spelled that wrong type in noise and we're gonna drag noise right onto the adjustment layer and we're gonna go to the effect controls for that and I'm gonna put the noise to about 12.5 percent and I'm gonna use color noise so it just kind of blends in a little bit better it's not too crazy of an effect and once that loads up here um, yeah, so you added a little bit of noise. Now it just looks even older. Looks starting to look pretty good. All right, the next thing you want to do is you want to add a play button or, you know, a bunch of kind of like effects that you could add onto, um, like what an actual VCR or VHS like play recording looked like. I'm just going to add a play button. I know it's usually on the top left of the screen. But I'm going to put this one on the bottom left just because it's all white up here. You're not going to really be able to tell very well. I'm going to go to title, new title, and I'm going to do default still. And I'm just going to name this, um, I'm going to name this play button. Okay, so I'm going to add the play button here. I'm going to click on the text, the, the type tool here, and I'm just going to put it on the bottom left. And I'm going to type in play, and then I'm going to do space, and I'm going to do alt. One six. That's gonna give you a little play triangle right there. You want to use the T, uh, the VCR text. I'll link it in the description below, and that's gonna change it to look like a VCR effect there. So I'm just gonna again just move that into the bottom left corner right there, where I think it looks pretty good. And then over here on the right in the title properties, I'm actually gonna add a an outer stroke to this text, and I'm gonna make it um, the size of three. Just add a little black three. Actually, no, I'm gonna add two. Okay, and that looks pretty good. I'm gonna move it down a little bit more. I'm gonna press X. And then now I'm gonna move this play button text under the adjustment layer with the little the uh, glitch effect moving downwards. Okay, now that I have that play button there. What I'm gonna do also is I'm gonna change that blend mode to screen. And I'm just to blend it in a little bit more and I'm gonna change the opacity to 80%. Okay, just so it blends in a little bit more and that's pretty much it you can like I said you can go further with this effect you can add more stuff to it you can add overlays to it but this is pretty much the final result and I'll put that on the screen right now If this video helped you in any way, hit that subscribe button and please give it a thumbs up. I'd really appreciate it. See you next time.